We uh, like kicking off uh, Fire Prevention Week uh, with the college environment. Uh, here at the um, tomorrow is the beginning of Fire Prevention Week. Um, and we like doing this scenario here so we can bring the importance of the decisions that you as parents and the decisions that you as students make in your uh, living environment, in your living situation. Um, since January of 2000, 146 students have been killed in fire-related deaths in college communities. 85% of those deaths were in off-campus housing situations. We're not trying to discriminate against our private property owners, our private um, rental uh, owners, but this program is sponsored by Eastern Housing and Eastern Dining. We want to let you guys know how safe sprinkler environments are, and how safe sprinkler systems are, and how safe this college campus is. Um, by next year, every college dorm here on Eastern's campus will be sprinkled. We'll have an activated sprinkler system in uh, guys to be aware of your surroundings and what kind of environment you're living in. Um, checking your smoke detectors if you live in off-campus house. Uh, checking those smoke detectors. Uh, testing them once a month. Changing the batteries every six months when we change our crops. Uh, for those of you that live on campus, following those fire alarms uh, drills, the fire alarm systems when they go off. Time and time again, we're finding more and more students Carmen Hall had a fire. Uh, the curling iron was left on a bed and it completely incinerated one room. There was a lot of damage to two floors. Uh, a lot of students were displaced and a lot of some of those students thought that was fire drill. Thought it was another burnt food situation. And until they started getting to work that you know floors were filling up with smoke. So Eastern's not immune. You know, we're, we're covered with the sprinkler systems where anything can happen. Um, this is not a music tragedy either. 32 years ago today, October 8, 1979, Eastern tragedy lost three students in a house fire. Um, it's fires like that, and fires that have been since, that are what's changing the safety environment in college campuses and college communities. Because of fires like that, we have the mandates on sprinkler systems. We have the mandates on smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. So, we do the laws that we across the bank. So, some good things have come out of those tragedies. Um, we just want you guys to be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the environment you're living in. Check the smoke detectors. Uh, parents, come down a couple weeks ahead of time with your students. Look at the different environments. Look at the different dorms. Look at the different uh, rental properties, things like that. Um, be aware of what kind of environment the students are living in. So what we have here is two mock dorm rooms. One on the right has a sprinkler system in it. One on the left does not have a sprinkler system. We're going to light two fires in this simultaneously. Um, each fire is going to simulate a discarded cigarette, a candle that has been knocked over, an electrical short, some small fire. That fire is going to grow rapidly. Fire on the right is going to be put out rather quickly with the sprinkler system. Fire on the right, on the left is going to is going to burn out of control. Uh, we're going to be playing with the wind here a little bit. We're not going to let anybody's property get damaged, so this fire may not be as large as it did last year. But you're going to get to see the damage and the effect between the two. So we're going to go ahead and light these two fires. And I'll kind of give you a timeline of how quickly it takes us to respond how quickly this fire will spread in that time frame that we can't <laughs> Of those 85% of campus-related fire fatalities across the nation from January 2000 until now, uh, there were four common factors in most of these fires. And those were a uh, lack of automatic sprinkler systems, fire sprinklers, which you're going to see activate here today. Missing or disabled smoke alarms. We just recently did a meet and greet. We, uh, we canvassed the campus, uh, the area around campus. 
And uh, in several of those off campus houses, we found smoke detectors that had the batteries. That smoke detector is your first line of defense. You hear the smoke detectors have activated. If this was a dorm room, this fire alarm would be automatically dispatched to the fire department. We have activation of the sprinkler system on the right hand side already. See how quickly it'll, it'll activate and the lack of damage that's incurred. The third area was careless disposal of smoking materials. You guys need to make sure those cigarettes are put out if you're smoking. There's no smoking in camp, on campus anymore, inside the door, off campus. Uh, make sure you're putting those cigarettes out in the proper containers. The fourth area was impaired judgment of alcohol. The fifth area was fires originating on upholstered furniture on decks of porches. This trap prevents uh, the occupants from being able to uh, evacuate the by now the fire department's received the call and we're en route to either the off-campus resident or the dormitory. <laughs> Depending on uh, what floor the fire may be in in the dormitory, it can take us several minutes to get up there.